Hey, welcome. This is Joe from the Cell Phone Geek. Hey, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, change your lock screen. This is the lock screen on a Windows 8 uh, tablet, but this is also good for your Windows 8 laptop or desktop. This is the uh, lock screen photo, which you can change it to anything you like. I've changed it to this Mustang. Uh, and also, I'm going to show you how to change your background on your lock tile. So, you know how to unlock this. You just drag your finger up and it logs you in. All right, so then uh, now you have this beautiful background here. If you shrink these tiles, see, you can see this background. It's uh, orange and it's got some lines in it, some squirrels here. Well, I decided I don't really want the orange anymore. So uh, the easiest way to go in and change this is if you just drag your finger in from the right, pull over, you get this menu here that pops up. So if you go in and click on settings, pulls up your settings here, and then under change PC settings, which is in the bottom right corner, if you touch on that, then it shows your PC settings and make sure you're under the personalize which is on the top it's the first choice on the left because this does scroll up and down so make sure you're on the top left one uh, once you're there then what you want to do is look over here it says uh, you know get a little closer for you it says a uh, lock screen so this is my lock screen current picture you can select any of these pictures down here so if you touch it it automatically puts that up on and it shows you what it's going to look like with the current time and the date and you can go through and select one of these pictures. But if you don't want any of these pictures, you can hit this browse button. And then it pulls up all of your files, uh, your pictures here with on your device. If you hit go back or uh, go up, it will go to the folder before here, which is pictures. And then if you have stuff saved in different folders, you can select which folder. And once you get in that folder, then I'll show you the pictures like these here. It shows you all these different pictures. So then once you like one of these pictures, you just touch it. And then here it says choose picture. You just click on that and then it'll load it up here. I'm going to hit cancel though. And then it would show up here. But I just, I like this Mustang one, so I'm going to leave this one. So then this will pop up or your picture would pop up here. So now this is set. So now if you blank out the screen and then come back or log off, and when you go to log back on, uh, this will picture will appear on the screen. And then this next, uh, and then if you want to change the background like I was telling you about, that's under the start screen. So on the top here, you have lock screen, start screen, and an account picture. I'm going to hit start screen. And then this shows you basically the uh, setup that is currently there now with all the uh, tiles. And then the menu, uh, start menu here on the far right, that's when you pull in from the right side of the screen. They have another name, but I can't think of the name right now. And then the bottom here, you have different patterns you can choose. So if you touch these, then you can see the patterns change. Going through, but say I don't want orange. If you look down below at those patterns, there's colors here that you can choose. And depending on which color you choose, then these patterns also change. So then you can look. <clears throat> Most of these these patterns are all the same for each color. Basically, you're just changing the color and then which pattern you want. So if, and then you can even do a solid color. So the bottom right is a solid color. The rest of them are different patterns. I kind of like the uh, second pattern here, which got like some like the uh, some lines that go through. It kind of reminds me of the screensaver from Windows 7. Uh, it was called ribbons, where those ribbons fly through the screen of different colors. It's kind of cool. So that, that this background reminds me of that, which is the second choice here. And then basically you just choose your color. So like you have black with yellow. So if you click on that, you have all uh, the background is black. But then whenever you highlight stuff, it's yellow. So like this here on mine is like a yellowish orange. Uh, depending on what kind of, uh, how you're looking at it. Depending on if you're uh, using the camera like you guys are. Or like me, I when I see this, this is orange. So you can have background with orange. Or you can have back black with green. Or you can have blue blue uh well ba black as the background and then blue to select and then go through the colors and then the colors change then you have brown with brown so this is actually a dark brown and then these are lighter brown this is like a medium brown here and then you can do red with red this is actually both red i know it's kind of hard to tell and you have purple with purple blue you have to go through and see what colors you like and then they get brighter like there's the orange ahead red pink purple blue so everything's blue and then once you get towards the end here then you have gray with like a turquoise blue and then a gray with orange which a gray with orange looks kind of cool i think i'm going to select that for now so once you click on that select your pattern you want which you have to go through and see which pattern you like you can always change it later if you don't like it once it's blown up on your whole screen so once you do that then all you have to do is hit the home button and see now the 
My uh, background here is the new design, which is just the gray color. And then if you want to see the orange here, if I slide over and then select settings, and then click on help, and it's not really orange. I thought it was going to highlight orange for me if I hold down. No. Let's see, how can I get the orange to show up? Keyboard? <laughs> well, I guess the orange is still staying over here under the settings. I'm trying to think where else would you see that orange? Oh, I guess if you do this, when you drag up from the bottom, this banner is orange still, which would be a different color if I chose a different color, but I chose orange again, so I still have that. I like orange as my color. So that's all that good stuff. Whoops. All right. So I, I like this one. This is uh, like a dark gray with the orange. Oh, yeah. Now these tiles here are the gray color. And before, I remember, they're orange. So you can see the difference in that. So they do uh, change the style a little bit. Basically, it's just your custom theme to uh, what you like. So uh, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Have a great day.